Kristen, and today I am celebrating Thanksgiving a little bit early, talking about my favorite Netflix original characters. I want to know which Netflix characters you love as well, so make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which ones you're thankful for this turkey day. <laughs> So this Thanksgiving, I am thankful for Jamal Turner from On My Block for giving us comedy gold. Played by Brett Gray, Jamal was a clear standout in the series and funny AF. He's overdramatic, he never wants to disappoint his parents, so he is constantly faking injuries to get out of high school football, and he's terrible at keeping secrets. But he's a mystery lover, and he's drawn to the Goonies-esque mystery in their town called Roller World. One of my favorite things about Jamal is his ability to make friends with adults anywhere he goes. He hangs out with Ruby's abuela, and they have one of the funniest connections in the series, bonding over Roller World and feeding each other tortilla chips. He's also not your stereotypical black best friend. He has his own storylines, as do all of the characters on On My Block, who are all from diverse backgrounds, coming from an African-American and Hispanic community. I'm thankful for Lyra Jean Song Kobe from To All the Boys I Loved Before for giving us a new fashion icon to stand and for giving Asian American girls all over the world a new lead character to connect with that's not a side character, that's not a stereotype. Played by Lana Condor, Lyra Jean has depth, she's fun, she's funny, she's relatable, she's a real person. They seamlessly connected her to her Korean roots and gave young Asian American women who never get a chance to see themselves on screen, especially in romantic comedies, a new character to connect with. And Lyra Jean gave hundreds of Asian American women a new positive character that they can dress up as for Halloween. The media that's created and that we consume really reflects what we value in society. And to see the author of To All the Boys I Loved Before, Jenny Han, fight so hard to get Lyra Jean's story told authentically, and to see it be so successful shows that Asian American stories are important and deserve to be told. I think that opens up opportunities for even more stories about Asian Americans and other minorities as well. I'm thankful for Veronica from Sierra Burgess is a Loser for proving to us that mean girls can be three-dimensional, complicated characters that you root for in the end. Played by Christine Froseth, it's no secret that Sierra Burgess is a Loser had a lot of problems. The biggest being that they didn't take advantage of the incredible cast that they had available to them. But Froseth really pulled out all the stops, showing us a true character arc and growth as her character Veronica. Instead of being a typical mean girl as we originally thought, she ends up being really multifaceted. She deals with struggles in her family, insecurities about her intelligence, and ultimately proves herself to be a really good and kind friend to Sierra. I'm thankful for Harvey Kinkle from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina for proving that you can be a man and you can be sensitive. He is definitely redefining masculinity. Harvey is unapologetically himself, even if his gun-shooting, abusive father doesn't approve. He can't get behind hunting with his family. He's passionate about art and comic books and drawing, and he's very open about his emotions and feelings. Even when he's terrified, like when it comes to going to the mines or having to shoot the empty husk of his brother, he always finds strength in himself and does what he has to do. I love the high school sweetheart love that Sabrina and Harvey have together. You can tell they're both very pure of heart when it comes to that and they will do anything to protect and help the people around them. I'm thankful for Titus Andromedon from Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt for giving us constant schemes and powerhouse vocals. Played by Titus Burgess, Titus the character isn't always perfect, but he is always learning and always coming up with some other new crazy idea that makes you love him anyway. He's never without a witty retort, and he's got vocals that will melt your face off. Maybe because Titus Burgess is a Broadway actor who originated the role of Sebastian in The Little Mermaid on Broadway, and has been seen on Broadway in Jersey Boys and Guys and Dolls. It's fun to see Titus struggle to become a famous Broadway actor because you know that the guy who plays him is one. I'm thankful for Jessica Jones from Marvel's Jessica Jones for proving that anyone can be a superhero even if they don't think they deserve to be one. Starring Kristen Ritter, Jessica Jones is a private investigator who happens to have superhuman abilities, but just because she has powers, that doesn't make her life easy. She's rough around the edges, she's never without her sarcastic humor, she really struggles with the past, she struggles with PTSD, and she feels a lot of times that she's not good enough to be a superhero. She finds strength in her flaws 
and she always tries to do good. I'm thankful for Steve Harrington from Stranger Things for being not the babysitter that we deserve, but the babysitter that we so desperately need. Played by Joe Keery, Steve has gone through quite a transformation in two seasons of Stranger Things. He started out originally as a jerk, and over time he went through this arc that just really made you love his character. It also brought him closer to the center of the strange occurrences going on in Hawkins as he became the quote-unquote mom of the Hawkins AV Club crew. I'm thankful for Sabrina Spellman from Chilling Adventures of Sabrina for being a young feminist icon. Played by Kiernan Shipka, Sabrina is a free thinker. She's fun, she's smart, she's strong. I love that she's not afraid to question things and go against the grain if they seem wrong to her. She always tries to do the right thing, she always supports other women no matter what, and above all else, she is really loyal to her friends and family. I'm thankful for Elena Alvarez from One Day at a Time for being a strong Latina activist. Played by Isabella Gomez, I love that Elena is not your typical Latina stereotype. She's an activist, she is politically minded, she's really really smart, she stands up for what she believes in, and she stays true to herself. She comes out as a lesbian and she deals with a lot of different reactions from her family. Some that are positive, some that are negative. I feel like that was a really powerful story to tell because I think in the world we don't really get many LGBTQ stories, and when we do, they definitely don't focus on women of color. So I thought that this was a really incredibly moving story for young Hispanic people to connect with. Obviously I couldn't talk about every single Netflix character and why they're so amazing. So thank you to all of these characters and more for being funny, fierce, smart, feminist, relatable, for representing people, for giving people a chance to see themselves on screen, for giving people someone to connect with, for entertaining us. I would love to know what Netflix characters you are thankful for this year, so leave a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click that subscribe button because I come out with new videos every week. See ya!